boys and girls, I'm glad you're back this week. We are going to try to talk to Stephen again. Do you think he'll come back? Let's go call him. He has a story I want y'all to hear. Let me call. Remember, we have to call Israel. We have to call Jerusalem. So we have to dial our one and get to Jerusalem. Yes, operator. Yes, I need to speak to Stephen in Jerusalem. Yes, Jerusalem, Israel. Yes. Oh, she put me on hold. She's got to go find Stephen. Hmm. Okay. All right. He's coming. He's going to be here any minute. Miss Tina! You came back! Yes, I'm so happy to be back. I told the boys and girls that you have a story to tell. I do. I've got a great story to tell you. An old story. Back before even I was around. Oh, long, long time ago. A long time ago. So, if you'll remember, this Israel and Aram were at war way back. And so Aram's king had this idea that he was going to trap all the Israelites and trap their king. But God had another plan. So a prophet of the Lord came. His name was Elisha. And he would tell the king of Israel where the traps were being set up. And the king of Aram had no idea what was going on. He thought that one of his own officials was telling the enemy, Israel, where they were. And so they're laying these traps and the king's getting away over and over and he's getting mad and he finally finds out it's the prophet Elijah, Elisha, I apologize. So Elisha, he says, find him now. He tells all his officials, you've got to find Elisha. And they find out where he is and they send a whole army, chariots, horses, men to go find Elisha. And so they surround the city with Elisha in it. And People are scared. Even, even one of Elisha's servants comes up to him and he says, Elisha, what are we going to do? This army is around us. How do we get out? But Elisha says, God, he prayed to God and he said, open the servant's eyes. And the servant looks around and there's a full army from God protecting them, full of chariots of fire. Oh, that's so cool. It was amazing. And so... They had way more men than, than the men that were trying to attack them. And so when they came in to attack, Elisha prayed again to God. And he said, I want you to blind the whole army. And so instead of killing them like they could have, he blinds the entire army and he leads them to the king of Israel. And so this whole army that had come to kill them is now blind and in front of the king of Israel. And the king says, well, should we kill him? And Elisha says, no, no, here's what you do. And he, he asked God one more time. He said, God, let them see again. And so sure enough, they could see again. And they see, oh my goodness, we're surrounded by the Israelites after all this. And then the, the king of Israel feeds them. He gives them a meal and he sends them back to their home and they never fight again. Stephen, thank you for sharing. That was such a great story. And I love the fact that our kids can know that too, that they can know that God is with them even when they can't see them. That is so awesome. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. I'll see you next week. All right, bye. Bye.